California National Guardsmen traveled deep into the Emerald Triangle, a Northern California region known for its illegal marijuana production, to assist multiple law enforcement agencies in the efforts to reclaim the forest from the illegal marijuana growers. We're doing reclamation on marijuana sites uh, throughout the area. This is Fout Springs, and we've been active here for a week now, pulling marijuana and garden hose from the, uh, from the plant sites. The damage is being caused primarily due to the drug trafficking organizations coming into the area, cutting down trees and removing them from their grow sites to establish a better area, at least as far as they're concerned, for growing their garden. The growers, who often live at the grow sites for months, abandon the sites, leaving them scarred and plagued with tons of garbage, drip systems, and chemicals of unknown origin. It's pretty common for these drug trafficking organizations to use rodenticides, fertilizers, uh, insecticides, all types of different chemicals to grow their crops. They mix these many times in the running streams themselves, and they'll make a dam and they'll, they'll run this pesticides and chemical mix concoction to the garden through this hose that they run. It's like lattice work throughout the area and apply the, the uh, chemicals directly to their crops. The uh, California National Guard's role in Whole Court Press is actually multifaceted. Uh, there's a very uh, robust intel section. There's uh, involvement in the uh, command post, uh, the ICP. So there's uh, heavy, heavy involvement with uh, uh, aviation support, reclamation support, and uh, even on the camp teams, there's uh, two, two uh, guard personnel assigned as helicopter managers to support the aviation operations for each camp team. Uh, I've worked with the Guard now for uh, about 21 years. The support that the National Guard has provided, not only with this operation, but with all the operations I've been involved in, has been outstanding. They year, year after year, uh, season after season, uh, provide outstanding support to, uh, uh, to law enforcement and to the citizens of uh, California. Probably one of the largest parts we played was uh, the planning from the very beginning, uh, working with the coalition, um, kind of being that middleman to bring all these guys together, um, plan how all the resources would be used, all the personnel. For many guardsmen, the mission started months ago with the assembly of bits of information into detailed intelligence reports used by law enforcement agents in the field. During the operation, law enforcement officers and agents recover information that may appear insignificant at the time. But when they bring it back, we can exploit it further uh, at the intelligence cell by doing link analysis and kind of tying all the players together, painting the big picture, and providing leads for the officers and agents to follow up on a later time. Our role is to support the law enforcement agencies with a variety of capabilities. And our most important mission in these gardens is to help the allied law enforcement and forest agents, forestry agencies, to restore the forest to its natural pristine state and our soldiers uh, and airmen help with that. I'm very proud of the efforts of our soldiers and airmen that are involved in these missions. My experience with them is, is that they are highly trained professionals that provide unique capability to law enforcement officers as they take on this very difficult and demanding and important mission. At the conclusion of the operation, over 630,000 illegally grown marijuana plants were eradicated, and the California National Guard assisted with the removal of over 55,000 combined pounds of trash, pesticides, fertilizer, and over 40 miles of irrigation line from the illegal grow sites. The damage to the forest will take years to recover, but the fight is on.